I think it's it's really hard to describe the ocean in one word. Inspirational. Yep. My sanctuary. The ocean is my sanctuary. Life. I go every single day to, to the ocean for an hour and a half. At least twice a day or at least once a day. And yeah, I'm at the beach every day. Some of my fondest and first memories of the ocean started off as a young girl where I spent time on the beach with my sister building sand castles all day and all night. And I remember when I was growing up, I used to convince my friends that it was my blood type, like the ocean is my blood type and I just had to get in the ocean every day. If ever I'm feeling a little like life's getting a little bit too busy or um, stuff's wearing me down, that's my escape. It's where I go to, to just absolutely let go of everything and you always come out of the ocean a better person. So the ocean is literally part of our family um, since the day I was born. Holidays basically meant beach for us and swimming, um, diving, uh, snorkeling, fishing and just great times with my family. The ocean, I think seeing it is actually like the lungs of the earth. It puts it into perspective of how much what we put in really directly affects it. The ocean plays such a huge role on climate and everything. We owe it to our kids, we owe it to our future generations to look after it. I think it's overwhelming to think about the state of the ocean and the state of the environment. It starts small. A lot of people don't do anything because they feel like I don't have that much influence or I can't do that much. It starts with everyday stuff. We need to stop the impacts of climate change on our ocean. We need to change our behaviour fundamentally as individuals and we have to try to live more sustainable lives because the future generations of humanity depend on it.